In this video, I'm gonna give you an extended core routine which focuses on alleviating your back pain, improving your power transfer, and generally just improving your comfort on the bike. Hey, I'm Anthony Walsh. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm bringing fresh content every single day of the week. Yep, that's right, seven days a week. I'm bringing vlogs, tech reviews, cycling news, and training advice. So take one second and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the wee little bell notification to make sure you don't miss any of that fresh, off the press, hot daily content. I brought you a core workout routine video last week. It went down super well. If you haven't watched that yet, pause this video, open a new tab, click on the wee little link here, and jump over and watch it in the new tab before coming back and watching the rest of this video. All right, you're back. Oh, that was fast. So today I want to add another three exercises to last week's exercises. So this video is very much building on last week's video. Core workout is without doubt the most effective way to increase your comfort on the bike. So these exercises are gonna make an absolutely massive difference for your ability to ride hour after 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 hour. The last core workout routine, it was a perfect time crunch little core workout routine. You could sneak it in the morning as I recommended before work, or you could whack it in even at lunchtime in the office because you didn't need any equipment whatsoever to do it. This workout I'm suggesting today, it's a longer one, it's an extended core workout, and it's a standalone core workout, which you could use to replace a session. So, let me paint you a picture. You wake up, Saturday morning, you have a three hour ride planned, you fling back those curtains with the fresh enthusiasm, you look outside, and it's pouring rain. Yep, I'm miserable. There's nothing worse. I've been there so many times. So next, what happens? You do this wee me little mental dilemma where you think, oh, will I ride the trainer for a while? Will I suck it up and do 90 minutes outside? If that's the dilemma you find you're in, this core workout's perfect for you. So I suggest you do this core workout in place of your planned workout that you had that day. Okay, let's do it. Let's jump in behind the scenes and I'm gonna show you these exercises. Okay, so workout number one that I've recommended, it's split squats. So this is an exercise that improves stability, coordination, and unilateral strength. It's especially good at correcting muscular imbalances and movement asymmetries. So I would aim for three sets of 15 on each side for the split squats. Exercise number two that I recommend, it's a single leg kettlebell deadlift. So this is another exercise which is great for coordination. Your midsection must resist giving in to the load as you lean forward. It promotes synergy between the hip hinge, core muscles and the shoulders. This exercise, believe it or not, stimulates over 600 muscles in the body. I would aim for three sets of 15 on each side with the single leg deadlift. The side plank, always a crowd favorite. So this is gonna work your shoulders, your obliques, and your legs all the way from your hip to your heel. The side plank really strengthens the deep muscles of your lower back. So this can really help if you're somebody who's struggling with lower back pain. For the side plank, I would aim for 30 seconds on each side, changing four times, three sets. You know what, this isn't just a catchphrase that YouTubers throw in at the end of the video. The likes and the subscribes are the lifeblood of this channel. So if you enjoyed the content, please do me one favor, whack that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, I'm gonna chat to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I know. I know. I know. Click over here, watch this one. You're gonna enjoy this. You'll thank me later. Ooh.